Hello everyone and welcome back. QC Runner for QC Runner Games. Today we are, first of all the video will get up a little bit late, I uh, still continue to, to be crazy with my with my time and my schedule. Um, trying my best to make sure we can, all oh, my alerts are going to come up so we can ignore all those. My reminders of things I need to do for, for later for the softball team here. Um, today we're going to do the uh, the torch in the dungeon that we talked about before. Uh, open a couple chests and probably a couple of random things here and there. Um, but one of the things we can do, I, uh, my, you can max out your gold at 10 million. At least I can at, at um, with my bank and everything maxed out. And I uh, took some, uh, some of my shards and turned them into dust. So, because I want to take my gold off the table. So I'm not really spending it on anything right now because when I have time, I'm spending it in the dungeon. So let's do that again while we're here. So let's see what we have. So we're going to recycle shards. Well, first of all, here, let me show you my dust and why I'm in such a bad way here. Most people complain about dust, but it's actually extremely important when you're trying to level stuff up. Um, I can't see it here. I got it over here. Yeah, I have five orange, 24 purple, 98 blue, 8369 now in the... Uh, and the green and 18,000 in the normal, whatever those are called, those guys, gray dust. Um, I had, you know, a couple hundred thousand in the gray dust and many of the others, but over time, they've I powered up my gems and now I have nothing. So I need some and I need to spend my gold so I don't top out. So we're just going to do some recycling. There's no chance I'm ever going to fuse up, you know, 97 greens and blues. So I'm just going to take the greens off the table and I'll probably take those as well. Uh, we'll use all those. Boom. Three hours to do that. And then we'll take, uh, I don't know, let's see what 70 does for us. Maybe 170. Let's see what, let's see how long 170 will take and how much gold it'll take. Because basically I'm just having, you know, kind of trading water with all these things. 1.7 million for three days. Um, I think I can put some, put some people in there and make it quicker, but it's not really needing to be quick. I just need to keep my gold from topping out. And then, you know, I need dust as well. So there's, it's something, something to do to keep that going. Let's just do that. Um, plus, it's going to give me an extra 4,200 dust, which will come in handy. All right, sorry for all the alerts. All right, let's do this guy real quick while we're here. Usually, almost every time, this is nothing for me, so I expect nothing, and I get nothing. Um, all the other ones, I'll do the video later. I got think I get a video here. I'll do that later. Um, one other item of note, I am now at... Five, let's start here. Five times 100. So one with the legendary artifact. Here's my 93. Two with the legendary artifact. There's a third, but doesn't have the artifact yet. Four legendary, five legendary. So I'm four times 100 with legendary artifacts and the one without. So there is something I could buy. I actually have enough. I gotta watch more commercials. I have enough here. And this is a backstab, which I was very. I can, I you know, really wanted to consider this one, but I really don't want to activate. I don't have that many tokens here, and I would hate to waste, not waste them, spend them on something that's not top of top of what I could get. And the activation of once in a while with some other verbiage is not the best activation you could get. The best is just once in a while. That way, I can trigger whenever it's ready, rather than waiting for somebody to die or waiting for somebody to resurrect or waiting for you know this or that. So two backstabs could be very useful, but at the same time, I don't I don't think it's worth it. If I had, if I was able to get any tokens more often, then maybe so. Uh, we're already up to 28,000, 20, so we're 21,000 away from, from getting it. So I'm still doing the 300 a day for the three commercials. And I've been doing some dungeons here and there as well, and I've been getting some. I'm, I'm having more success with my team being a little bit stronger. I'm averaging probably fifth or sixth. Um, which gives me an extra, you know, what is that, 150 extra tokens per, per battle as well. So we're getting there. Um, with my hero getting stronger and now having another 100, and we're how far are we away from getting six times 100? So two days and three hours. So what for me today is Thursday night, so Friday night, Saturday night, along with commercials, I'll have my six times 100. And I was trying to figure out the next step because whenever I do Gem Bay, I only have 10 fighters. So I picked another fighter and I think she, I think Leah started at three uh, she's up at 36 I don't really have any weapons down this low I'm just trying to put something on to make them look like a fighter um, so if I do any, another arena, arena bay run arena bay gem bay run sorry um, she would be in there I would wait until she got a little bit more gear obviously 
Um, so then my next question was, do I take my, you know, take one of these people, Emma, for example, and throw her in there and start leveling her up? So I'll actually have 12. Or do I take my 93 here, who I'm going to be taking out, and dump him in there? Because then I need, what, five? I think starting at 90, I have seven or five days each. So seven times five, so 35 days. And then I'll be seven times 100. So I think I might do that and have him go to 100. And by the time he's done with that, she should be up to something reasonable, 70. Actually, I'm done the math. I have no idea. But 50 to 70 range when I think I have some gear I could put on her. So then um, she could become a little more useful. And then I'll bring in my other one here. So I don't know. Just just ideas. I haven't really thought about it. And since I'm not really doing jambay runs now, it's not really critical either way. The the main thing I'm spending most of my time on is a dungeon. And this you only have eight. So maximizing what I can do in the dungeon might be the best at the moment. So let's see. Last night I did one run of the dungeon for food and was able to finish it off again. And I got two chests. And I didn't open those yet. We're going to do those in a moment. <clears throat> and I have done a couple randomly throughout the day. And they've been very poor. So I don't know if... If the people that are helping out are just better at night, my night, or or it's the other way around. But um, anyway, I wanted to wait for tonight to do this on the video and to uh, hopefully have better luck. I'm gonna do it for torches and see what we can get. And if we can if we can get a monstrous dungeon chest, that would be pretty awesome. So let's just let's just jump right in and do it now. See what we can get with uh, with a torch. This will be my first torch run here. Deploy the best. Confirm. Just do random again because usually they are stronger. I wouldn't be adverse if this ends up being very good and the chest ends up being better, which I should probably do some research before I go too crazy. I wouldn't be against the idea of spending some gems here and there and buying buying some torches because they're 50 gems each, which is not terribly expensive, and you can almost get 50 a day just by doing random stuff. So that might you know might even be worth. There we go, 3042, same as me. There's a couple guys I'm down with 3.2, which is much nicer. But we'll go, let's see, am I in charge? Wait for the leader. Again, second time on video, and I'm not in charge again, so that means we're just kind of, we're here in the helper role, and that means also that I don't get to make a decision where we're going. Unfortunately, but it is what it is. So hopefully this guy makes some good choices. And the last, last time, earlier in the day, I went and did a dungeon run with somebody, and... They made some poor decisions for sure. And we, uh, what are we fighting here? Boom, 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 boom. All right. I'm going to do something different because these guys usually just smoke my, uh, he's doing that, so I'm going to do this. Uh, shh. Yeah, that's right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, these guys are, uh, smoking my mages. Watch the battle. Let's see if this is higher DPS than what I've been having. Let's just see if they can smash them. They don't get to the back lines. There we go. It's, it's not, well, they're still getting my, still getting them though. Oof. Yeah, it's not bad. And he had some restore mages. Good. I got finally uh, somebody helped me out. Restore mages. I have none, so I have no use there. I need, I need that. All right. What are we gonna do, Carlos? So yeah, this afternoon. Um, usually there's a note in here where you pick where you get to choose one. One positive buff and one negative buff. And the person had a choice of choosing something with magic damage, you know, reduced magic armor, I think, by like 30% or 20%. Um, a, th a second option, I don't remember. And the third option was to, uh, oh man, I gotta start paying attention or he's gonna be upset with me. Um, the th third option was to, oh, come on, what's that not working? Um, we'll go here. The third option was to um, re remove the use of artifacts. So we're doing the rest of our fights with no artifacts. It's like immediate death. I mean, that's that's a big part of the game, getting those nails going out and getting all that stuff and getting your artifact from your, or the relic, I don't know if that counts, but, and, you know, we, we lost it. So pretty much from that point on, I think we won one for the rest of the time, and it was ugly. It was uh, definitely a good example of making good decisions and how it can help you get stronger. I'm pretty sure the two times I did complete this, we uh, we got a really good positive buff of like uh, one was like 80% dodge for warriors, something maybe not quite that, but it was really high, with not too bad of a negative, and the other was uh, 
armor at like 70 percent or something so he certainly can get uh get some good stuff and all right so we got good back so we're gonna go you you he's not putting too many he's only got one i'm gonna do put ken in there we'll get three uh three mages to go with our three um three tanks Res anybody who gets knocked out. Boom, just like that. Good. They're doing some damage for sure. We're knocking our guys down. His other tank is not super strong over there, it appears. Uh oh, that's not good. Stop beating up on our uh, mages. There we go. Yeah, I think three mages were the key on that one. That really does definitely got us going. All right, we're going to quickly jump over here, try not to have our guys get upset. Um, I suspect they will change this in future releases, but right now if you're if you're not jumping back and clicking on all these bubbles, your guy gets upset really quick, and then you're not maximizing your uh, your gains that you can be making. Where are we going? Here we go. We're going here. All right. Oh my God, archers and mages, so we need to have the magic damage of mages in the squad will be reduced. Well, I don't have any magic damage of its significance anyway. All right, Julie, you, put Ken back in there again. Um, I am also going to do that, actually. I don't remember the, the point I was making there, but here's what it is. So, you know what? Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking, since I got in with the torch, I thought also one of the benefits also with the torch was you got more uh, more ether. But I think the only way to get more ether is to use one of the, the times two items, but it also costs money. So these little cat things seem to do a lot of damage, and they do it very quickly. Um, fortunately, we got some good res, res mages going and popping everybody back up, but they do a lot of damage for sure. That's good. We're, we're looking good here. I'm hoping we at least finish one of the... the this one? I apologize. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we get two chests. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not editing my video, so I apologize for that sneezing right in your ears. Um, yeah, we can, we can get some good stuff here if we can get this one. And this lady. Um, I think... Let's see what he's doing. So we need you... We're going to put Evan in there this time. Um, you and you. Good power, good res. Yeah, that would be awesome if we could somehow pull out a legendary. It's not legendary. A monstrous, monstrous chest. Beaten, beaten this girl a couple different times. The Goblin's King's Lair. Uh-oh. Doing some, doing some big damages to us here. We need to, need to get some reses going. Come on. There we go. Get all those guys back up. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot. We got to kill her before. Yeah, we're in trouble. We got to get higher DPS. You need to... Ooh, look at that massive damage. She went from 9 down to 6 real quick. But it's not going to be enough. We're not going to get it. That's a bummer. Yeah, you got to get her before she runs away. We need one of those 300,000 damage again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not going to happen. Give us a... Big shot, big shot, come on, 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 get it, get it, get it, yes, yes, right on the buzzer. That was as close as you can get it, there, we gotta give a high five on that one. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, that was, that was clutch right there, that was a last second shot. <laughs> Not sure who landed that, it'd be nice if we could see damage that was done. All right, let's come back around. That'd be awesome if we could get two monster chests and two epics. So that means we're going to have some good stuff to open here at the end of this video. All right, where are we going? Where are we going, Carlos? He's probably typing. I probably shouldn't have put anything. Oh, there we go. I just need to pay attention. All right, you and you. So I want him. Some of the times... Oh, Ken's dead. That stinks. Um... 
some of the times, especially on the easier ones, I sometimes take somebody who is almost dead, as long as we got some res in there, and have them go in. That way they'll get knocked out and then res right up, and then they'll be stronger for future fights. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping here. I didn't pay attention to see if he has a res mage. But even if not, if it's restored, then that'll, that'll help me pop up a little bit stronger, too. Yeah, look at that. It must be a restore mage because I'm getting I'm getting up ready as it is. So we're having some successes here. So this is going to be a little bit longer video, which I apologize if you're not looking for longer videos, but I'm getting to see some good dungeon gameplay. Um, getting to see having some good decisions can help you get some good stuff here. So abode of horror and uh, concentration of gloom. Those are. You guys haven't done the, the dungeons before. Those are pretty much dead ends. We hit those, it's going to be the end of the line. So what we need to do is do the layer of shadows, and we can follow it around with um, the one, the two, and the three, and get up by that dragon tail up in the corner. And that'll be another another boss battle that will get us, hopefully, another monstrous chest if we can get there. But he's doing the top. All right, you guys want to do it. That is not my preference. But it is what it is. All right, so we're going to do... So we're gonna to try to level Evan up. So we're gonna use that strategy on this one. What does he have? He has restore. Um, his restore and my res. Let's see if I can get Evan to get a little stronger because he's very weak. Um, but his restore mage is doing some pretty good. I need to. I need to find me a good legendary restore. Uh, weapon and get those on this team because whenever I'm battling with people that have them, it is huge in the dungeon. It is really huge. Look at that, everybody's look how strong we are. We're almost full full power with everybody. And that's massive. That's just him doing it. It's not me. I'm not doing anything. So we're just going for maximizing ether, I guess. At this point, he's not. Uh, maybe maybe Carlos has enough experience where he clears the board every single time, so he's just trying to do them, and we'll just go to the end. My, my philosophy so far has been try to get to the bosses as quickly as possible so you're as strong as you possibly can be. Also, on that one, we, we got a lot stronger. Our team was a little, little weak and tired, and we got stronger. Um, yeah, I don't know. What am I doing wrong? I'm, I'm, he's, like, waiting on me. I'm, like, dragging. Uh, we got lots of tanks here. This is going to be a beast of a battle. I'm going to need another res in there, it looks like. Um, should put a DPS in the back, maybe. Um, yeah, it's like I can't go and then I'm way behind. So anyway, yeah, I like to take the go right to that boss battle as quickly as possible. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. You guys are knocking our mages down. Um, as quickly as possible, I'm as strong as possible, and then if there's any time left, I'll just do the other one, try for the hundred percent clear. But you know, what teaches your own. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way. That's just the way I've been doing it. Oh man, we got some big damage going here. We're gonna we're gonna lose some on this one for sure. Oh, I lost my dog on it. I just lost my other res mage. I can be of no use. Oh, see, look at that. What do we have? See if there's anything good here. No, physical armor of archers up 80%. That's good. Or crit up 35%. That's awesome. Magic damage of mages. Oh, that's not huge. Magic armor of mages. That's not great. Physical armor of archers. Yeah, that's bad. Alright, he's not gonna do it anyway, so let's go boom. Ooh, that was his that was his mage, not mine. Boom. And what are we fighting? That guy, I'm gonna throw the other tank in there. Let's get Evan in there to do his his thing. He's got another restore mage. Okay. Really hoping we get another completion on this uh this boss at the end. We got, what, three more battles to go? Those rabbits are brutal, though. They do some serious damage. Man, those restore mages are huge. I need to get me a... I mean, I have... I think I'm, I probably have uh, epic. We got two more to go. Maybe I need to go for that epic weapon, because it's... Uh, certainly legendary is huge. All I have is tons of damage dealing for, archer, or for the mages, which I don't really like. I know there's a purpose, and I know they can be useful, but for me, I don't like it a lot. All right, what do we got? We got archers and mages. We're going to go boom, and boom. He's doing DPS as well, and a restore. There's another. He's got three, how many restore guys does he have? Let's do a DPS as well in the back. See if we can strengthen her up a little bit, so she'll be stronger for the next fight. 
Oh, the next fight's the boss, then. I'm going to tell me here. All right, so we started about 408. Let's see if we can be higher. 397. Yeah, these guys are doing some damage for sure. Down 100,000. Oof. Yeah, well, we won, but we, we lost. Oh, I lost Adam. How is that his? What do we have? Oof, I haven't fought this guy before. I'm going to ask. I haven't fought this one before. Strategy. See if they speak English and if they can answer me because I don't know. Let's see what it says. All right. Uses mind control to make enemies side with it. Uh oh, that's not good. Once in a while, makes a random enemy side with it. Not good at all. Once in a while, it goes into the stasis, restoring its own health. That's not good. It summons minions. Oh my goodness. I've never seen it either. Uh oh. All right, two rookies going here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we will definitely get some restore going. Um, I'm gonna it's gonna hurt when uh, oh, he's got what do we got? He's got resurrect. He's got so he doesn't have. I got two tanks. He doesn't have a tank. He's got so another mage. Let's do. Um, we got one, two, three. Let's do this. That way, we're gonna be restoring. We're gonna be resurrecting. We got three tanks out there doing some. No, we got two tanks. Ugh. Two tanks doing some damage plus his archer. All right. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Our guys just turn on each other. That was huge. So hopefully, we can keep restoring them quickly. All right, 850, keep going down, keep going. Oh, we're doing good. We got it. We got it. We're smoking them. With all the restores, even if we do damage to ourselves, we'll pop them right back up. Nice. Ooh, big damage. We got them down to 500. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. What's going on? Man, we're doing some serious damage. And now we're getting our butt smoked. Oh, man, I thought we had this in the bag. Down to 440. His mind control stuff hurts. They, he is, doing some ma he's making us do damage to ourselves. Ooh, 170, come on. Massive damage to ourselves. But with all the restores, it's helping. 155, come on, keep it going. 120, come on. We want another monstrous chest. Oh, 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 we got him. 26 ounces, come on. Nope, don't go up, go down. He's getting stronger. Oh, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Shoot. Man, we were close too. Ooh, wait. He's dead. We just need to. That's kind of funny. The boss is dead. Oh, he's getting stronger. Good. <laughs> the boss is dead, but we are beating his minion enemy. Very nice. Look at that. Two chests. We got some good stuff to open. Very nice. Very nice. Boom. All right, what do we got? We got 85% completion. So, two more. But I think most of our guys are dead, so we're in big trouble. But this one, you don't have to do anything. You just need to take the results. So that's a, that's a gimme. At least smashing it. Yeah, we are. Way to go, Carlos. Good job, buddy. Sure, now. Now, look at this. We're going to get 100% completion. Fingers crossed. Now we got one more battle to win. <laughs> All right, so Julia, who's been killing us, she is an absolute beast. All right, but we are, I have no, oh, we we have no mages. We got one, two, three, four archers, three tanks. It's uh, and I'm dead. Oh, he's got one. Fantastic. He's got a uh, res. All right, what do we got? This isn't one of the strongest ones. Ooh, these guys are brutal. Oh, go on, damage, 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 and we're dead. 
I don't get a nice. Fantastic. We got it 100%. Now we just do this last little thing and we got it. Very nice. Cleared the board. This is the third time we cleared the board now. And we did it with a torch, which makes it that much better. Let's do it. Let's go here, Carlos. Finish it off. Doesn't matter at this point, but let's get 100% completion. All right. I will take uh, magic damage reduction. Ready. Let's do it. 100%, baby. Yeah. Great job, buddy. Thanks, Carlos. Let's wait for him to leave, and then we will go. Oh, you know what? I did the thing I keep forgetting about. Look how sad we are. I was only gone for a little while. I get carried away with what I'm doing, and I forget to come back. But we'll be opening chests and stuff, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get that going when we're when we're out of the dungeon. Wait to see if Carlos wants to give us a little compliment back. Nice one. There we go. That was uh, that was quite good. Very nice. Carlos left. We're gonna leave. Fantastic. Well, hopefully this video is recording. I'm gonna do a quick check here. It is good. I would hate to have that not captured. All right. So while we're here now, let's uh, let's see where we're at on Ether. Twenty three thousand. So maybe we'll buy a couple things in the store too. But first things first, we're gonna open up this chest and see what we get. We have. We're gonna start with the dungeon chests. Also get a couple of relics. I wouldn't mind if we got five more relics. Oh, there we go. We got one. You should obtain an upgrade later. This is the Archer Constellation Sunbeam Relic. All right. We'll take a look at that later. I just went for the. If you guys don't know, if you hit open chest and rather than waiting the whole time, if you just touch it, it goes quicker. But for the for the purpose of video, I'll just keep it keep it slower to build suspense. All right, and we got one more for the regular chests. All right, we got one. Well, that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. Let's go collect these because we're trying to get our guy happy again. All right, now let's go see what these monstrous chests are. Chance for legendary. Everything's the same. Might get an epic. Might get a legendary. Might get a relic, and then the tokens are gonna be higher. So here we go, the first monstrous chest we have ever opened. Definitely taking this one slow. Four, six, good, good, and ooh, what have we got here? A magic signet ring relic fragment. All right, well, it is what it is. Do another one. Give me something good, like a good archer weapon. All right, we got one of those already. So sunbeam relic. Let's see what that. Let's see if we have enough of those now. Here we go. We got three relics in the what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven chests. So next we will go. Well, first of all, let's look at our overall power because this is going to go two five zero one. Two five zero one. Yeah, I think that's what it was before. So let's go check our. Oh, maybe we got to go to our. Go to our hero here. Hero. Whoop. Oh, what was that? Okay. Hero constellation. That is not where I wanted to be. It's not what I meant to do. I wanted to go here and see where we got. So right now we have enough relics for the Unk relic. But get a relic in the warrior constellation to use it. We're not ready to use it, apparently, all right? Banner of Courage, or two of three. We're one away. Two of three, two of three. Is that one we got? No. This is the one I want. None of those yet. Two for the Banner of Souls. Signet Ring, that's the one we got. So we got one of those, our first one of those. Increases magic spell power by 100 every until the end of the battle. That's nice. I'll take that one for sure. There you go. This is the, we got two of these. We still only have two. So this is blinds all enemy archers. A blinded fighter is guaranteed to miss when attacking the last 1.3 seconds. And this is, is an active skill. So six years left since the battle started. In battles not controlled by you, the hero will use the relic themselves if the enemy squad has one live archer. Yeah, what's this up here? So take us over to the here. So we're still not ready to. I don't know what I need to do. I guess once I get the third one of these, and I have my 650, where we have we have 1200. So once I get the third one of these, which is the active relic, then I can enable it, and then I'll have the choice of using this as my active relic. And then here we have two or three. Also, that's almost ready. Prevents enemy mages from using spells last two seconds. I like that one a lot. 
that one might be what I, I'm going to be using, especially in the uh, arena. It's going to be huge. Okay, well, good. We're getting closer. Um, the inactive, those are all the active skills. Here are all our inactives. And these guys are passives. Right, hold on a second. Let's let's see what our plan is. We have we have let's see, almost happy, I think. Yeah, we're getting closer. It's back to full happy, and then uh, obviously everybody knows this. The reason we're getting happy is so we can get the five percent bonuses for everything, specifically food. If I was pounding the arena, I'd be doing that, but I actually have lots of work to do. So once this is over, I am done for the night. Um, speaking of which, I need to wrap it up. So let's get to the dungeon store and see what we want to do. So I don't want to spend all, I don't even have 27 for another 10. One random mallet, mallet, does that help? I don't know. Let's just do, see how much we need to spend to power up our, our hero one, one or two times here. Constellation. So this is going to cost 3300 Phew, that gets expensive. And that's going to get us, uh, go from 100 to 150 damage by an allied warrior every 20% lost. So if they're down to 20% power left, that'd be times four, right? So that'd be the 600 extra damage. Pretty significant. Um, or this one. Right now we're doing 30 times, 30 every time they're hit. Or we'll go to 45 every time they hit. So I mean, if you keep getting hit and you keep getting healed, I mean, does that count for like the, the dungeon and for every different time you're in there? So some of the times you're hit what, five, six hundred times? Or maybe that's a little bit ridiculous. 50, 60 times? Or it's just per battle? Five per battle? <sighs> or we just go here and just go up big health. Try to maximize health, make them last longer. I think it's very expensive very quickly. I guess that's why people start buying relics. Yeah. So if we buy the 2,000, that'll put us up to 2,900, which isn't even enough to do in one of these. But it'll probably be enough to do fairly close to two of those. So let's, let's go with that first, and then we'll decide later what we'll spend the rest of it on. Later, another video, that is. So we'll do the 2,000, boom, done. Okay, we'll go back to the Constellation. Installation, yep, doing it. 13, 26. Oh man, that is a big jump. All right, well, in that case, we are just going to hold on to our 1609, not spend anything else, and just wait and see what we want to do. Because if we get this, which we're close to, increases the number of badges of courage received in a tournament. That's not going to be anything I do unless I'm doing a tournament, obviously. But. 5% is nothing significant. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I just remembered? Do I have to level this guy up? Oh, I need two more. So I can level this guy up too, which will give me two two seconds of warriors at zero. But I don't have enough relics. I can't do that. Plus that's 1,900 tokens, which I don't have either. Okay, well, we'll just wait right here. Let's see what that put us. 2,501, so it's probably like an extra 4K maybe. Yep, 4K, so 2,505. Slowly but surely, we're eking up our strength, eking up our power. Um, it's helping because well, I forgot to say that I did an arena battle. I saw actually, I was doing an arena battle. I didn't attack somebody. Somebody attacked me. They were over three million power. I don't think it was three point three. I think it was three, three point oh something, and they lost. And I don't know if they had like one of their guys turn and attack them, but that was pretty sweet. And then I, I beat a couple, like 2.8 to 2.9. So the, the team is certainly getting stronger and able to hold its own. Um, it's not normal, but it's, I think it's just a, somebody who's a little bit weaker because there's plenty of people even lower than me that can beat me and that have a very strong squad. Um, but it's good to see it's helping me get a little bit higher, consistently higher in the arena, which is giving me more arena tokens, which is going to allow me to get more artifacts with the goal of having, you know, six times, six times legendary artifacts for all my guys all doing stuff so um all right this video has gone on long enough i've battled long enough we we made some progress in the dungeon we cleared 100 percent cleared got two monsters chests for the first uh our first uh first time with torches so maybe 
Maybe you might have to buy some more of those. They're not super expensive, but we'll see. I mean, we have 13,000 diamonds on this. This one up to 50 each, that's fairly insignificant. 60, but I think if you buy them in bulk, it's cheaper. Probably even cheaper than 50, it's probably 40 something. Let's take a quick look, since I am very good at delaying what I should be doing. I went past it, obviously. Ooh, I, I forgot about the decent this one. Ace up the sleeve relic. What is that? You can buy specific. I wonder if that changes. Maybe daily. Maybe you can buy up to five of those. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on that. You can buy a relic, up to five of them. I mean, it's going to cost you diamonds, obviously, but that could be useful. Especially though, you know, I don't want to get that explosive one. If I can get that, and it's here, that would be worth, it would certainly be worth spending the money on them. That's cool. I'm not going to buy that. Here we go, torches. So five times. Five to fifty, so those are fifty each. I mean, sixty if you buy them individually. If you buy them packs of five, they're fifty each. And packs of thirty-five is down to uh, what is that? Four thirty, forty something. So forty-two, forty-three. And not even get down to forty, but whatever. That's yeah, maybe get you the extra extra chest, which gets you extra tokens, and it gets you some probably a higher percentage chance of relics. I'm guessing. So might be worth it. Uh, especially considering, like I said, I mean, if you're in the game often enough and you're clicking on stuff, you're getting free diamonds. You're watching videos, you're getting free diamonds. So you can break even at the very least without really even trying very hard. So with that, we will uh, we will wrap things up. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, um, drop a like. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see, if you have any questions. Um, <clears throat> even with being busy, I mean, that, that kind of stuff pops up and it's easy to see. And I certainly would like to get a community going here and get some followers that are active and get discussions going and would, you know, I'd be happy to jump in and have a good conversation going with uh, the, the viewers and myself and, you know, develop something big here on this channel, hopefully. So um, anyway, if you like what you're seeing, if you enjoy it, drop a like, drop a comment, um, pass on to your friends, and uh, I will see you in the next one. See ya.